Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the new and remastered Formal Guy 01 channel. Uh, I've been on YouTube for about five years, and I'm finally getting into the wing of things, making great new content daily for you guys. Uh, if you've noticed, for some of you longtime subscribers in the very small list, me and a good friend of mine have been doing daily live streams for about two or three years. Our critically acclaimed series, Stop Hummers, that's always going to be around. We go live almost every single day, so watch out for that. The next update to GTA Online is about GTA Classic Cars, and boy am I really looking forward to this. We've read that a couple of the cars that are confirmed are the Infernus from GTA 3 and the Turismo from GTA 4. I think there's going to be a lot more cars than just that. I mean, I'm hoping there's at least maybe 5 or 10 to make it a really good update. You know, they can spread them out week by week like they've been doing the game from my uh, favorite list from some classic GTA games. The first car being the Clover. This car is an old model of the Oldsmobile from GTA San Andreas. As you can see, it's just one of those old rustic cars like, you know, you wouldn't exactly want to see it in like a flashy 10 car garage, but it's just a cool car to own. Shook and it just had, it had decent handling for a San Andreas car. Next car I wouldn't mind seeing from San Andreas is the Remington. Uh, maybe not the lowrider model, but I wouldn't mind having a stock one of these in the game. As it did make a cameo in GTA 4 in Brucey's Garage, it definitely proved to be one of the most popular cars in San Andreas. Next car I wouldn't mind seeing is the GTA 4 Coquette. That's one of the big classics from GTA 4. Now don't get me wrong, the GTA 5 Coquette is amazing. Coming off of that 2015 C7 design, I really like it. The GTA 4 one, there's just something about it. You know, the red stripe that went around with the white paint job, the sport rims, the sport seats. I would love to see this make a comeback. Next car, a Super GT. This car was crazy cool back in GTA 4. I always used to use the cheat code for this, take it down to the beach and just spin some donuts down by the water. Always a fun time driving this car. It also handled great for missions. This car was one of the best cars to use for a mission. Finally, the last car I wouldn't mind seeing is the Sabre from GTA 4. Not the Sabre GT, but the Sabre. Knock off of one of the old Buicks. This car just really has a rustic look to it. The body roll physics in GTA 4 really made these cars a lot better than GTA 5 in my opinion. GTA 5 kind of got rid of the body roll and made the handling a lot easier, but that takes away from the realism that GTA 4 had. So that is my official list of cars that I would like to see in the update. As for the release date of this update, nobody seems to know, but my guess is maybe one or two more special event weeks so we can spend all of our money before the update, just like they want us to. But those are my thoughts, and keep an eye out on this channel because I'm going to be making a lot more daily content starting here soon. I'm looking forward to bringing you the best GTA quality news, and I'll see you next time.